Hi everyone, welcome to Donda's dashboard how-to videos. This video will demonstrate how to get started with Donda's dashboard right after the installation. The emphasis is on how the data flows within. Now, let's get started. Once you have successfully opened the Donda's dashboard application and logged in, you should see a similar screen as this. The variation can occur depending if I've already made a project or if the Sonatica sample was included in the installation. This view does not include the Sonatica sample or a pre-made project. Thus, the first thing we would like to do is create a new one. To do so, click on the space right below the Design Explorer and click New Project. Let's name our project Data Flow Video. The main part of the interface for this video will be the Design Explorer on the left hand side. Here you see the flow from top to bottom of how things should be created and how the data gets passed onwards. The very first one is a data connector and this is where you will connect to your data source. After that is a virtual table and virtual cube. This is where you will consolidate your data which one to use will be based on the data source type. The dimension is used for filtering by a full category of items or by a hierarchy structure. This may or may not be needed depending on your specific scenario. The data sets and KPIs are used to calculate and display the desired metrics. Which one to use will vary on the number of dimensions you have. Dashboard and analytical dashboard is where you will design the dashboard look and feel to give the end users the desired visualization and experience. Note, mashups are personalized dashboard views, while the project resources and shared resources are available resources to help you design the dashboards in a more effective and efficient manner. Now, let's create a quick and simple sample of how to display our data on the dashboard. The first thing we would like to do is create a data connector. To do so, hover over data connector and click on the ellipse button that will appear. Click new data connector and give it a meaningful name. In our case, we'll call it DC data flow video. Here, we will connect to the Sonatica sample that was provided with the installation. Please pick the appropriate server name. And the corresponding database name. Note, if you don't remember off the top of your head, simply click the arrow key to see all the possible choices. Test the connection. I then save. And yes, we would like to discover the data structure now. Since we used the SQL server as our data source type, we will create a virtual table. To do so, hover over the virtual table, click on the ellipse button, and click new virtual table. Give it an appropriate name. In our case, we'll call it VT data flow video. In our sample, we'll use the standard virtual table. Here, we will select the desired data connector. And finally, we will select the appropriate table or view that we wish to use. In this sample, let's do downloads by month and click finish. There will be numerous tabs on the bottom with valuable information such as data source, columns, and preview. Let's focus on the preview, so let's click on it. Here, we'll click Generate Query and Preview Data. If everything works as expected, we'll see our data. In this case, we do. Thus, we'll save and check in. Now, let's create a data set. To do so, we can hover over the data set Click on the ellipse button and click New Dataset. Give it an appropriate name. In our case, we'll do Dataset Data Flow Video. 
Here, we will select the virtual table we would you like to use. In this step, we will select the appropriate columns which we want to use from our virtual table. In our case, it will be everything. This step is to define public filters which is getting ahead of ourselves. So we will skip this, so let's just click finish for now. Again, there will be numerous tabs on the bottom with valuable information such as columns, state groups, ordering and sorting, annotations, and preview. Once again, let's focus on the preview and click on it. Here, let's click preview data. Since we can see our data, everything is working as expected, so let's save this and check it in. Lastly, let's create a dashboard. To do so, hover over our dashboard, click on the ellipse button, and click New Dashboard. Give it an appropriate name. In our case, let's do Dashboard Data Flow Video. Here, we will simply click and drag our dataset that we created earlier, Dataset Data Flow Video. This will prompt a wizard. For now, let's just click Next, Next, and on this step, we'll ensure that we have selected Show Replace All Data and click Finish. And that is it. We're done. Let's save this and click Preview. As you can see, this is a simple dashboard, but it does show our data. We can make our dashboard more visually appealing and complex. You can get a feel for what is possible by viewing the dashboards in the Sonatica sample. Here's an example of one right now. For more information on what we discussed in this video can be found on our support site, support.dundas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact us by email or by phone, which are shown on screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future videos.